All right, everybody, welcome back. I want to do a little what is in my medicine cabinet. Most of this is just to talk about the toothpaste that I love and the toothpaste that I recommend to my patients every day. Friends as well, if they inquire. I don't obviously go around talking about toothpaste at dinner parties because that would be pretty shitty. So anyways, welcome back. Thanks for being here. I appreciate all the support and the love and the comments and everything. So thank you so much for all of that. And let's dive right in. My very first highly recommended, it's the number one recommended toothpaste is Closus. So this is a pretty hefty tube here. It is a seven ounce tube. This runs about $10. You can find it on Amazon. You can find it at Walmart. You can find it in your local drugstore or grocery store. This consists of a mouthwash and a toothpaste. These are the two products that this company makes, mouthwash and toothpaste. This is the one mouthwash. We always have this in our house. My husband uses this every day. This toothpaste, again, a staple in the house. I use it every day. So when you see these things at the grocery store, they're only gonna take up this much space and they're usually on the top shelf. So they're a little bit difficult to find in the store because they don't take up multiple shelves or a lot of space. It's two products that they have. The reasons I love this, it has five ingredients in the toothpaste. Well, more than five ingredients. But the point is these are sodium lauryl sulfate free. So there's no sulfates in this. This is SLS free. And what that means is sulfates are added to toothpaste and shampoos and soaps to create foam. You do not need foam in order to brush your teeth. The foaming does not clean your teeth. The bristles of your toothbrush touching your teeth are what is cleaning your teeth. A string of floss touching your teeth is what's cleaning your teeth. A water pick is what's cleaning your teeth. The toothpaste doesn't clean it. You have to have the mechanical removal. So what's great about this stuff, it's a very, very mild flavor. There's no sulfates in it, like I already said. What that means is there's no foaming action. There's no burning. There's no side effect of this to a mouth. So if a person is very sensitive to strong flavors like peppermint or cinnamon or anything along those lines, just a regular toothpaste could be too strong for them. If they have an, a, a reaction to sulfates, um, that they get ulcers in their mouth or their mouth gets sore, or their mouth gets burned, there's tingling when they're brushing their teeth, this is the toothpaste you wanna go to because there's no side effect. It helps to clean your teeth, it helps to remineralize your teeth and remineralize because there's sodium fluoride in here and the fluoride helps to remineralize your teeth from the acid that we create from eating and drinking all day long to help prevent cavities. So the fluoride is gonna absorb on the teeth to help strengthen that. That's the purpose of fluoride in the toothpaste. So this tube can last me anywhere from four to six months. Um, again, I use it every day, but the goal is a pea-sized amount on your toothbrush. You do not run toothpaste from one side to the other on your toothbrush, unless it is an extremely thin line. This, it's a little pea-sized amount in the middle brush your teeth, it works fantastic. I use this on my Invisalign trays. This is my number one staple. My number two staple is Boca. I have come to really love this toothpaste. This is an all natural toothpaste. Um, if you are more into a holistic thing, you don't want any fluoride, because some people do have done research and found that fluorides can be endocrine disruptors. Um, this one has nanohydroxyapatite in it. Hydroxyapatite is a mineral found in our teeth. This has no fluoride in it. There's xylitol in here. Xylitol is a natural sweetener that actually helps also to prevent cavities. So it's a very good thing. Um, this is again, mild flavor, no sulfates, doesn't foam. Um, it is quite a nice paste. This mint is very mild. It's very gentle. Um, I like to use this at night. I don't know why, I just do. And it, I mean, it really does make my teeth feel clean. It's considered a non-toxic version, the hydroxyapatite. Um, so it's an essential part of teeth and bones, but it helps to, of course, gently remineralize because again, there's xylitol in here. It helps to strengthen the teeth there. This is sweetened. I take that back. This is flavored with essential oils. So yeah, it makes it a great alternative. If you're not into fluoride and you want a fluoride free toothpaste, I would look into this company. They have another flavor. They have a, a lemon lavender, which I'm not into lemon or lavender, but I absolutely love that paste. I have it in a little travel tube and the last time I was out of town, I used it. Absolutely obsessed with the flavor. And <laughs> it's funny for me to say that because I don't like either of those flavors, but in that toothpaste, man, they really, 
it's really good. It's very refreshing. It's not overpowering. Again, it's very mild, but this is also another toothpaste. No burning, no side effect, no nothing. Helps to work, clean your teeth, remineralize your teeth, strengthen your teeth, all while not having a bunch of chemicals in it that's gonna alter the natural uh, natural bacteria and fungus and everything that's in our mouth. So it doesn't disrupt the oral environment that we have. So that's why this is a good paste. The third one I love and I will always keep is Tom's of Maine, but it's gotta be rapid relief sensitive. This stuff, is the bee's knees or the shit or whatever you wanna say when it comes to helping sensitivity. I recommend this toothpaste to my patients that have dry mouth because this toothpaste has arginine and calcium carbonate in it. Those two ingredients alone not only fight sensitivity better than any sensitivity paste on the market because of those two ingredients, they also help to remineralize the teeth to prevent decay. If you have sensitivity, and you've been using something like Sensodyne for years of your life and you still have sensitivity, it's typically because Sensodyne was originally made to only be used for two weeks. That's it. It's a toothpaste that's made to be used when you need it, not when you don't. So if you don't have sensitivity, you don't have a flare up, you shouldn't use it. Also on top of that, Sensodyne has a lot of different chemicals in it. If you ever look at all the different kinds that they have and you look at the ingredients, the ingredients vary by 0.0 one percent or point one percent difference from one box to another to a whitening to a remineralizing um, none of the toothpaste over the counter are going to remineralize your teeth they will not replace enamel you cannot regrow enamel okay you can erode your enamel away by eating lemons and limes and having a lot of acidity you will not brush away your enamel unless you're using something extremely abrasive so if you want to know a little bit more about abrasiveness, I should say recession and add fraction lesions, watch my recession video, that'll make more sense to you. But back to the toothpaste. This Tom's, I use this when I have, because I have a few sensitivity spots when they flare up, I'll use this two to three days. The sense of, I'll use this once a day. The sensitivity will disappear, I'll stop using this. If it's really bad, I'll use this twice a day. And then when the sensitivity goes away, I disappear. So this is not something I use all the time. This is something I use intermittently as I need it, as I would recommend for everyone. But I'm gonna tell you, if you wanna make a switch from Sensodyne to this, you need to completely detox your teeth from Sensodyne. I've had too many patients, which we've done experiments with, where they taper off the Sensodyne. I recommend them getting closest, use closest one time a day, then use their Sensodyne one time a day. Do that for a week. Then the next week, closest twice one day, put the Sensodyne in every other day, one time a day. Because I've had patients that immediately go to this from the Sensodyne and their sensitivity doubles or triples. So the, the potassium nitrate in the Sensodyne works against people most of the time, not for them. So you need to basically strip the teeth and get all of that stuff off of it and just allow the teeth to not absorb it. And that's just simply detoxing the teeth for lack of better terms. You just don't want to use it. You want to slowly over a couple weeks eliminate it, see how you can go without it, and then switch to this and see if you find a difference. So it's all about experimenting with, what, with what's going to work with your body when it comes to sensitivity and your toothpaste. But this one will always be a staple because it is hands down the best stuff. Now the last product that I have that I use, and I promise you I use all of these. They're in my medicine cabinet and I like I said, I use the closest every morning. I use the Boca at night and I've been rotating in this. I did it for a while every night and now I'm rotating it in a couple times a week. I had a patient turn me on to this company called Aura Wellness. They came to our office because they had periodontal disease and we did some scope therapy on them. Um, and the patient started using this blend on top of their toothpaste. It's essential oil blend. They would put one drop on their toothbrush and just kind of work it in to the teeth that had the really deep pockets. And I'm talking, they had eight, nine millimeter periodontal pockets. So they used the to they used this tooth powder, they used this. So I thought, I'm gonna try this because this makes me really intrigued because they were using this and their pocket shrunk and their mouth was very healthy. I mean, pink gums, still had five millimeter pockets, but we weren't dealing with eight millimeter pockets. We were dealing with fives, which is a huge improvement. And the patient is very healthy, very little bleeding, very little plaque and tartar buildup. 
They are very diligent on their home care. They are very consistent, which plays one of the major roles in their health. But I, I called the company and they gave me this sample and I, I love this stuff. This powder will last, I mean, they tell you it'll last you like 200 uses because there's a little wooden spoon in here, which I can show you. And it's just a powder. So I put a little bit on my toothbrush and I'll brush my teeth with it. I like this stuff because since I've been in Invisalign, I got these little buttons on my teeth and my teeth just feel rough all the time. So they always feel dirty. This stuff helps at night to make my teeth feel really clean from all day. So it just, it's been helping me feel cleaner with the Invisalign in particular because my feet, teeth just feel so grimy having these trays in all the time and then taking them out to eat. So, but I really like this stuff. Again, all natural. It's just a bunch of different powders. This is essential oil blend. This isn't gonna make your mouth like feel, oh, minty, fresh and clean, but it makes your mouth feel very clean. It's just a different flavor because you have things like cinnamon and almond oil and peppermint leaf, spearmint, clove, myrrh, and manuka oil. So those kinds of things are not make-believe. There's no sugar in here, so it's not sweet. It's just a natural good thing to help you. And this has no flavor to it. So I, a lot of times I'll brush with just this, sprinkle it on my paste. No foaming, no side effects, no burning, no peeling, no ulcers being created with this kind of stuff either. So that's one thing what I love about every toothpaste I use. They won't create ulcers. They're not going to cause any side effect. They won't burn your gum tissue, which is important because a lot of people use products that burn the inside of their mouth, their gums will slough off and they have this white film in there and that's just their skin inside of their mouth peeling off because the toothpaste or the mouth rinse that they're using is burning the living daylights out of their mouth. And after they think about it and realize, oh yeah, I do get some tingling when I brush. Well, yeah, because the products are burning. So they're actually not working for you, they're working against you. And all of these products will work for you, they will not work against you. They're not gonna disrupt like I've already said at the beginning, your oral environment in here, because you have billions of bacteria in your mouth, like you have billions of bacteria in your gut and in your intestines, and everyone knows how important the gut health is now. Well, guess what? Your oral environment, that bacterial balance is extremely important also, because if you have bacteria that you have an infection in here, you have to realize you're swallowing that bacteria. That bacteria is in your bloodstream because your mouth is in your body, it is part of your body. Your blood that gets pumped through your heart also gets pumped through your mouth because that same blood gets pumped through your brain and through your entire body down to every extremity. So it doesn't matter where the infection is. Mouth infections can cause a lot of disease. A lot of people don't realize if you're a diabetic or you're a heart patient and you've had a heart attack or you have heart disease, you, have a, you can have, especially if you're diabetic, you, it's an inflammatory disease. Rheumatoid arthritis, arthritis in general, any kind is an, is an inflammatory disease. That inflammation is also part of your mouth. So if your body gets inflamed, your mouth gets inflamed. And people that I've had come in, they are super stressed out. They have life events go on, no matter what it could be. It could be they're moving. It could be they had a death in the family. It could be they're getting divorced. It could be their kids getting married. It could be they had a new grandbaby or they got a new job any new stressor in life that's not you know a day that inflammation shows up in the mouth and it's a really big deal and even if your gut's inflamed and you have a lot of inflammation that can show up in your mouth too i've had patients change their diets you know they'll come in and go okay i changed my diet i i want to see if my gums are any better because i started eating this way and i've been doing this and i've been doing it for so long so can you tell me what my mouth looks like sure can and I've been able to compare the people have less bleeding, their gums are less inflamed, they have less plaque in their mouth, and you can just tell the inflammation in their body goes down, their mouth feels better. And most of those patients, because they're so tuned into their body and their health, they can tell that their mouth feels better. So, you know, when you think just teeth, I don't need them, they're not important, I can just take them out. They're all important because that's function. It's chewing, talking, eating. This is the first place you break down the food to nourish your body. If you can't break down the food here to nourish your body, well then your body's malnourished too. So those are just some things to keep in mind, but I'm getting off subject a little bit, which is normal for me. But that's the nitty gritty of what's in my medicine cabinet. Besides, I have my water pick, I have my Sonicare. Here's my Sonicare, my tip brush head is over there. And then I have my water pick also. And then of course I always throw in, <laughs> 
I do floss every once in a while. My water pick's my main method of flossing, but if I'm gonna floss, this is my this is my go-to, my cocoa floss. I love this stuff. It's really thick. Um, it's coated with coconut oil, but this stuff is amazing. Like it, it just grabs. It's got texture to it. It gets the food particles and plaque and debris out from in between your teeth. I never, ever, ever use Glide. I never, ever, ever recommend Glide. I do not recommend a slippy floss ever to people because the slippy flosses contain Teflon. Teflon is a toxin. And on top of that, it's so slippery you don't remove plaque. It just slides around the teeth. You can't really remove things. Everything's just slipping around. You wanna, if you, say because i've had so many patients say to me i have really tight i have my teeth are really tight i can't get floss through them well if you can't get floss through them then you should be using a water pick because to me everyone should use a water pick and flossing should be secondary because flossing is not 100 percent effective it's not the end all be all it's just not water picking is far superior and far more effective so if you want to floss i'm fine with that but you need to floss with something that's got some texture to it a waxed floss, 99% of the patients that tell me their teeth are too tight. Again, I know I have a lot of practice. I use a straight, I have straight wax floss in my practice that I've used for years. Again, I won't use Glide. I use Coco Floss currently. And I have a lot of trouble getting it in between people's teeth because it is a thicker floss. But man, I get it in there and I use it and it's amazing. But if I'm using wax floss, I can get it through 99% of the people's teeth that say they can't get it through their teeth. So. It's just about practice. And that's what it boils down to is practice and consistency. And if you don't want to practice flossing, then you should just practice water picking. Just make it easy on yourself. Don't torture yourself because why? Why are you gonna make your life harder? If you're not gonna be motivated or you're not even gonna have the want to do it because you hate it so bad, then just get a water pick and use that. It's way easier and way more effective. You'll have a much better dental visit. You have a much healthier mouth, which in turn helps your long-term overall health let's add in here if you get chronic ulcers if you have lichen planus if you have dry mouth or burning mouth syndrome or if you've been had fungal infections in your mouth any one of these to toothpastes are the ones that i would choose if you want a toothpaste that's over the counter that's good for you you want to get the plain jane colgate in the red box that's on the very bottom shelf of every store i've ever been in cavity protection that stuff is old school as old school gets it's a basic recipe they do have sulfates in it so it does foam a lot so again a pea sized amount is all you need if you use more than that you're going to have foam everywhere but also it, it's you just don't need that much it's unnecessary you need the toothbrush to touch your teeth if none of these are in your budget or you just don't want to get them go to the colgate get the colgate cavity protection or get crest cavity protection that's that that's what's in my medicine cabinet so you guys, I hope you enjoy. If you want to go and purchase any of this stuff, I'll link it for you so you can go find it. Um, all of these products you can find on Amazon if you want. So I'll link that as well. Thanks for being here, guys. I hope this helps you and I hope you can help someone else in your life. You know, if they suffer from any kind of chronic ulcers or burning or tingling or anything like that. I'll see you next time.